brothers and sisters on the celestial energy, brother Wilson, what's going on, guys? Um, my mother and I was uh, having a conversation this morning, and she was talking about how she's noticed that time is not the same as it as it used to be, and she's talking about how things don't seem the same. You know, the energy. You know the time you know the, the, the energy and one thing you know I, I told her I said I, I told my mom I was like you know I was like we got to realize that the time that we're dealing with right now you know there's one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock it's artificial time it's not real time it, it never has been real time I mean, it, it, it's absolutely artificial and you know, I told her. I said, you know, it's it's um, it's important that we know, we understand that the time that mankind created can never measure up to what you call biological time. When you talk about biological time, you talking about the natural time that is created with energy. All right, without energy, there is no time. All right. That's number one. Without energy, there is no time. If, if energy never existed, time was, would not exist. But because energy exists, time exists with energy. Just like, you know, um, you may have a sister and she says, you know, my biological clock is ticking. And her body is saying it's time for me to have a child or two or maybe three and that sister's body is already prepared to want to carry children all right especially the, the, that don't have their own children so that's her biological time all right which means the energy that's around her has already evolved and has told her, hey, you know, I, I, I need to have a child. I don't care how I want to have a child. I need to have a child. And this is what the body is saying. So a lot of people say, why is she out there just will willing to just getting pregnant, just getting pregnant? And the money and money, 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 you know, she can't afford to have this child because her biological clock is telling her it's time to have a child. So she's following what her body says. All right, she's following the, the, the things of her body, because in you know in reality, our body doesn't understand money. Neither does our spirit. That's why we say this money is an alien uh, 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 substance here on this realm. All right, money is literally alien. It's it's not real. It's 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 um an artificial type of energy. That's designed to that is designed to occupy us. All right, that's what money is definitely created for: is to occupy our minds, to occupy our hearts, to occupy our, our everything. The very essence of us is where money is designed for. So we must see things in a completely different a uh, area. All right, when you're dealing with energy. You're dealing with, I mean, come on now, you're dealing with all kinds of frequencies and vibrations. Like the most dumbest statement dealing with energy is Einstein. He said energy is equal, uh, energy is equal to mass times the cost of velocity squared. That is the dumbest statement I have ever heard. E equals MC squared. Energy is equal to mass times the constant velocity squared. It is not. Because when you're dealing with energy, you're dealing with so many different parameters of energy. But before energy is created, there must be a frequency. So you can't say energy is equal to mass times the constant velocity because you, you can't say that because... When you have, um, let's just say, an asteroid coming in, it's flying through the sky. All right? No matter how big that asteroid is, 
it's going to come in at the same speed. And that's one thing I've noticed. There you go. When you, when you, an asteroid, no matter how big that asteroid is, or no matter how small it is, it's going to come in at the same speed. So you can't say that energy time is equal to mass times the constant velocity because you're talking about something that's coming from out of the cosmos and it's flowing on frequencies. Without a frequency, there is no energy. And this is, this is well-known science. If there is no frequency, there is no energy. If there is no energy, there is no time. So time is literally based upon frequencies. Because before there is energy, there is a frequency. Before, that, uh, uh, what, what creates that frequency? A thought. Your thoughts... What we say, you know, we try to put a we put a measure on it to try to show the magnitude of thoughts and say thoughts uh, travel 477 trillion miles per second. We put a we put a, a number on there to try to describe the magnitude of thought and to show you how how powerful thought is. But there is nothing that you could actually measure because thought is more is thought is more instantaneous than anything else because many times when you're dealing with the brothers and sisters before we even finish thinking what we want done it's already happening before we even finish it so it's it's like it's like beyond instant so you can't put a, you you can't measure time this is what these sections want to do they want to measure time that's what they want to do they want to measure time so they they, they base time in increments you know we got sub seconds and seconds and minutes and hours so 60 seconds is equal to one minute 60 minutes is equal to one hour all right but you have 24 hours that create a whole day it doesn't make any sense why doesn't 60 hours equate to a day if 60 seconds create to a minute and 60 minutes create to an hour. Why? Why doesn't 60 hours equate to a day? It doesn't make it doesn't make sense whatsoever. So we have to look at the intelligence of, of, of who we are and where we come from. You know, the whole the whole point is that we have to actually dive into the whole spectrum of energy. We have to dive into the whole spectrum of frequencies and vibrations. Without a frequency, there is no energy. Without energy, there is no time. And this is this is how this is how this is is, is this how how it op how it operates. All right. That's why I say in energy is equal to mass times the, con con the constant velocity. No, it's not. You say they'll say, well, light is two million. It travels two million miles per second. How do you know that? Because when you turn that light on and you hit that, you hit that, you flip that switch and you got the negative uh, port and the positive port uh, being brought together, it's instantaneous. This is this is literally instantaneous. It's instantly, it instantly happens. It instantly comes into uh, 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 fruition. It's like an, it's almost like an instant manifestation. So it's something that we really need to focus on. Something we really, really need to think about. Let's deal, let's talk about the energy from our sun. They say energy is equal to mass times uh, mass times the constant velocity squared. The mass of our sun. These sexes want to say, "Oh, the sun is just just as mass." They don't know. It's just a guess. They never been that that close to the sun. They've even tried to have uh, cameras go on the other side of the sun, and, and, and our sun, which is a celestial uh, body, a celestial being, said nope, and burnt the fuck out that camera. All right, they don't know the weight of the sun. They don't even know the weight of this planet. You know, they try to they put they try to put a weight and measures and try to measure time and energy and all that because they don't understand it. You're talking about a bastard species of beings. You're talking about a species of beings that was never supposed to be in existence. But, you know, yes, we have some brothers and all that created these motherfuckers. I mean, come on now. They were never supposed to be in existence at all. So 
what we're looking at when you're talking about time and the parameters of time, you're looking at the parameters of energy. So when we're dealing with our sun, you got so many different uh, um, um, areas to deal with, dealing with our sun before you can even talk about anything else. Because what you have, you have perpetual motion. Perpetual motion is, plays in a vital role in, 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 in the classification of our sun. All right. Then you have entropy. You know? So what happens? Our sun spins on a biological uh, um, integer of time, of space time. You got a biological integer of space time, is what our sun spins on, because every planet spins. All right? And it's spinning. And it's moving. And these Saxons are watching the sun. It's like, you know, they they try to measure how 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 the sun operates by you looking at the sunspots. But they say, well, you know, a sunspot disappeared and 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 this is this is a surprise to us because it wasn't supposed to be there. How can they say what is supposed something was supposed to be there? Because they're trying to project how uh, uh, the sun is supposed to operate. It's just them, like them trying to project their money, and they keep messing up because they they have this alien system, and they don't even know how to operate that that monetary system themselves. So. You're dealing with energy, which creates time, but it's frequency that creates energy. All right? So if frequency creates energy, that means frequency is the basis of time. So our sun is perpetual motion. All right? Then you have entropy. And what happens with entropy? Well, you have our sun creating frequencies. And then you have frequencies that are being that are being collected into our sun from the atmosphere, from the from the universal atmosphere, from the other planets around. All right. And what's happening? Those frequencies that's being collected is nothing but communication, different parameters of communication, and the sun knows where to send the energies. So our planet is communicating with our sun. Our planet is communicating with our sun as our planet spins. Our planet is communicating with our sun. And our planet is is, is is telling our sun, yeah, we got a virus here, we need this right here. Yeah, they're trying to, you know, protect themselves, da 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 And our sun is like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to send this, I'm going to send this, I'm going to send this. And you're talking about celestial bodies that are working on a hyper powerful rate on a, an extremely powerful and extremely powerful energies so what's what's taking place you know we have uh, 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 these powerful forces that our sun then sends a burst of energy out and what is that energy it's nothing but a frequency all right so you're talking about frequencies that's being sent out from our sun and the frequencies is nothing but it's it's what's what the frequency creates the energy. All right, it's the frequency that creates the energy. It's what it is. The frequency creates the energy, and the uh, energy, well, creates the time. So from the time that plasma gets to our planet you know these Saxons say well you know it takes about 24 hours 24 to 48 hours for it to come from our galactic sun to our planet this is a guesstimation because sometimes it has happened within a few hours and it's only according to how high and how intense the frequency was 
all right? It's only according to how high, how intense, how powerful the frequency was that created that plasma discharge from the sun, what they call a corona mass ejection. And when you talk about X-class flares and M-class flares, it's only, only thing it is, is based upon the frequency that's being emitted from our, uh, uh, our, our solar star called the sun, all right? It's only based upon the frequency that is emitted from it. So the, the 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 more powerful the frequency, it's like they put a they put a you know they, they you got a B class, you got an A class, B class, C class, D class, then you have the M class, then you have the, the X class, you know, they they, they classify the uh, uh, um the uh, plasma discharges according to the amount of frequency. So they're watching it. They're watching this in there, and 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 you know the, the main thing is they're scared because at any given time, our galactic sun could send a, a frequency so freaking high that it can literally wipe out everything that is not indigenous, and this is what's what's taking place right now. So when you're dealing with time, all right. You say energy is is equal to mass times constant velocity squared. No, energy is based upon the amount of frequency that's been dispersed. Anytime you're dealing with energy. All right. Anytime your thoughts, how powerful are your thoughts? Because you can make things happen just you alone. Your thoughts alone. When you talk about telekinesis and teleportation, you know, it's, it's, that's the frequency. What frequency is your body operating on? You talk about hydrokinesis, pyrokinesis. What frequency is your body operating on? It's the question. Because the energy that 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 literally that your that your body is working on. Is is or, or, I'm sorry. The frequency that your body is working on creates the energy that's all around you, which means that that frequency that creates the energy creates the time. Without a frequency, there's no time. Without an energy, there's no time. I mean, something for for you to really for you to really grasp. You know, something for you to really think about. So these Saxons are trying to control time. You know, this is what they want to do. They want to be the controllers of time. But the whole point is that you can't control time. It's, uh, you can't control time if you don't possess the proper frequencies. All right? Which is why they um, are using their system to put frequencies in the air by trying to control the frequencies of the atmosphere, by trying to tap into the ionosphere. Ionosphere is nothing but radio frequencies on our realm. So they, you know, they they want to be the master of the time, but you cannot be the master of the time because in order to be a master of the time, you cannot have a mechanical device to control a frequency because you have to be a biological machine of nature, and we, brothers and sisters, are organic organic machines. Our bodies are a manifestation of nature in the cosmos, which means the thoughts that we have literally shatters the whole uh, um, the whole educational system that these Saxons created with all these lies. Just like we go back to Terrence Howard, you know how the brother said, you know, he said, how can one times zero equals zero? When you have one measure of energy, and he says, where did that other, where did that measure of energy go? You just have one measure of energy and nothing. And then that measure of energy just disappears. He's right. Because when you're dealing with multiplication, you're dealing with math. You're dealing with uh, 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 addition. If you're multiplying something together, you're, you're adding something together. If you're dividing something, you're subtracting something. I mean, and that's just, just that's just the way it is. If you're multiplying, you're adding. And that's that's why their math doesn't make any sense. Just like they taught us that one plus one is two. If you put 
two integers together. All right. If you put two integers integers together and they're balanced out and those two integers come together, you're going to have a third integer that's going to be created. All right. But just like what Lucy said, one plus one can be a whole host of things because you can look at one universe and you connect that one universe with another universe and you have a multiverse. And why do you have a multiverse? Because within that universe, a star system is a universe, a galaxy is a universe. Each planet has its own universe, just like our, our realm right here. Each one of us brothers and sisters are a universe. All right? So when a brother is mating with a sister, you have the multiverse being created and that multiverse gives birth to another universe. Or it may give birth to a twin universe, which you call a parallel universe. All right? So we're talking, we're talking mathematics. So you have in one universe, you have a, a sequence of frequencies and energies and vibrations, which means that the um, the whole shifting of the energies within a universe depends upon the frequencies that cause the shift. And the frequencies comes from thought. Energy has always been. You know, so many people want to say that, oh yeah, you know, if it wasn't for God, there would be no energy. And, and you know, the whole God thing is literally a cop-out so that they won't really delve into science. All right? So many brothers and sisters want to hold on to this whole thing that these Saxons created to what God created everything. Well, if God created everything, then God has got to be frequency. God has got to be a frequency. God has got to be that master frequency because before there's energy, there's a frequency. Frequency creates energy. Energy creates time. And time is from one point and you can't even say from another point because it continues on. They say, well, energy is, energy is from one point to another point. No, because energy, sometimes energy has a rippling effect. It has a wave effect. Sometimes it has a rippling effect. Sometimes it has a looping effect. Sometimes it waves, ripples, and loops at the same time when you have complex energies. And from these energies, what are created? Geometry. So now you're coming into geometry because the, the, these energetic uh, uh, frequencies or, or forces are now creating geometry. And this is your geometrical values. This is when you start getting into your Fibonacci sequence or whatever. What they call the Fibonacci sequence when you start getting into your um, different shapes because um, just like um, you take certain sounds and you take sand and you put it on the plate and you turn the frequency on and according to the level of frequency that 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 sand that sand is literally going to come together and create a geometrical shape and it may be hyper complex and it may be simple but it's according to the type of frequency that's being used so you see how everything is coming together? All this is coming together? So mankind can never, ever measure the true true time. Mankind can never measure energy because energy is based upon frequency. Our atmospheric sun, you feel the heat from it. Why? Because this is the frequency that is given off. The amount of frequency... It's, a, it's, 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 it's literally creates the amount of energy. So the, what these Saxons do, let's cover up the sun. They say, you know, if you don't have, if you don't have the sun, then you won't have, uh, you won't have heat. So let's cover up the sun so that our bodies won't be affected by these frequencies. And our bodies literally depend on the frequencies because we are hyper powerful beings. We are literally cosmos in the flesh. 
which means that we have to find the, the spiritual pathway in, 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 in order to destroy the system that these Saxons created. You understand that? So it's the frequency that literally creates time and it's the frequency that creates the energy. So that whole thing that Einstein said, well, energy is equal to mass times the constant velocity. No, energy is equal to the amount of frequency that's been uh, uh, pushed out from a certain celestial body or a certain area. You can have frequencies as, that's literally created right in the middle of thin air. Why? Because our planet, our realm, our planet is what constant uh, in, 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 in a constant motion, perpetual motion, it's spinning on its own. All right. And you got constant velocity that's happening because it's always moving. It's always moving around. That's why you see all the planets. You know, why do you think you see Jupiter and Venus in a conjunction? Because the planets are always moving around. We don't stay in the same place. The planets are always moving around. Why are they moving around? Because they are giving off a frequency as they spin. So that frequency is causing the energy and the friction, and that energy is literally causing motion. So you that's what you call entropy. So I mean, you, you, <laughs> this is how deep it goes. This is how deep it goes. We go into what, um, when they go into mathematics and they're talking about, you know, the Saxons always use X plus Y or X times Y, X minus Y, Y, X, and Y. X is the X chromosome, Y is the Y chromosome. X is energy, Y is time. So, X is literally that feminine. Y is that masculine. So you say energy times time equals what? Energy plus times equals what? Energy divided by times equals what? Energy subtracted from times equals what? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. X plus Y, X minus Y. So, so their whole model that they created is it's, 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 it's not right it's not right at all so we're talking about time we're talking about time and we're talking about, talking about how time actually operates time is based upon the amount of frequency that is put out without that frequency there is no time because the frequency creates the energy and the energy creates the time. And that's how everything operates. Without the frequency, there is no time. And if there's no time, that means energy doesn't exist. But because energy exists, time is always there, but it's a different type of time. It's a biological time. It's not based on uh, 60 seconds and 60 minutes and 24 hours. No. It's not based upon that. That time is based upon the amount of frequency that's been dispersed from this celestial object or from the from the from from this portal or this gateway or from this galaxy or this universe. That's what time is based upon. Time is based upon frequency and what's happening right now. The space-time continuum is literally evolving, which means the frequencies are shifting. We saw the frequencies shift in 2020 when they said Omicron destroyed the stock market. And Omicron was literally a frequency that came from the moon. That's what Omicron was, a frequency that came from the moon. And this was, that was let everyone know and, and so many brothers and sisters couldn't catch on because they're so caught up in the system that they didn't understand that evolution was already happening right then. These sectors are telling you the frequency has shifted and has caused our monetary system to fall because their monetary system is based upon a frequency. That's why they show you the stock market and they show you all these zigzag lines. They show you the frequency of the money. And that's their energy. That's their energy system. That's their power system. Everything is based upon the, the frequency that they created. 
And we have to understand, brothers and sisters, that the that the frequency that they created is literally out of alignment with nature and, and, and the cosmos. It's designed to control the minds of the angelic beings of the original people. So we're going to create this right here and we want to control them because we need them to be under our power. This is why we must take our place on our realm and make things happen. Just want to talk to you guys about time. All right. <laughs> Hope you understood that where I'm coming from because, you know, I can I can go real deep. All right. All right. So um, time is based upon frequency. Frequency creates energy. Energy creates time. Energy is that is lit, frequency is literally that masculine feminine. Frequency is masculine and feminine at the same time because it creates time and energy. Time is masculine while energy is feminine. Beautiful, isn't it? All right. I'm going to catch you guys later. We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about some other things a little later. All right. So much power to you all, brothers and sisters.